All right, this is in Oracle's ROM hack created for Hackathon, uh, which is a mini hackathon that was uh, for the release of Linolab 2.0, which allowed people to create easier ROM hacks for the Oracle games. The Today we're going to be playing through Project Moonrise by Ponty Stone. Everyone had about a month to create these ROM hacks, so they're not necessarily going to be full games. They're probably just like one dungeon or something, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we got. Ah, you must be the one who, who we summoned. This land is plagued by an endless night where beasts run amok unopposed. Please take my sword and help us end our curse. Alright, so we got a sword. We got a ring shop, it looks like. Looks like Vazu has uh, vanilla behavior. Yeah. Yeah, Vazu has vanilla behavior there. What do we got down here? Oh, a secret. Secret shop here with a potion. Potion and shield. It's a nice little shop there. Can't go up. Level 1, Stygian Gal. Ooh. Okay. It's a pretty cool looking dungeon. see any chest or anything spawn. Oh? Okay. Can't go that way. Should probably kill this guy and not drop him into the water. Oh, there's the chest. It's a map. All right. Let's see what we got this way. Oh, wait, we need a key to get through there. Suspicious. Oh, there's a key here. No, it's a compass. Okay, there's gonna be a key somewhere around here, probably. Oh, maybe I have to... F oh, yeah, there's a path. There's a path to follow. Okay. You can see in the darkness the path. And this is going to be our key, isn't it? 
Yeah. Alright, more more darkness, more pathing. Right, oh, actually this is full floor. Oh, wait a second. I can see. Something interesting going on here. Oh, you can kind of get a feel for it. I wonder if you have to get grabbed. I wonder if getting grabbed is actually the path here. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It sets your, your point, your spawn point, in a different spot. Oh, getting grabbed might be the... the thing? <laughs> or do I have to kill these? To open up the... the door. Yeah, open up the door there. Alright, I don't have Ember Seeds, so I can't do anything with those guys. Oh, it's Swoop! Hi, Swoop! This is the other side of that room. I can I can go up here. Oh, we got ourselves a puzzle. I think this should work. No. That got me our ember seeds. Okay. Stay away from me this time, please. Oh, we got a spinner. That just opened up the door there. Uh, do these move at all? They do not? Okay. Oh, you can see the path a little bit.
Hey, what was up there? Oh, this is just... Oh, that's just a quick bang back. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what's up, Kaya? This is Project Moonrise. Alright, that that's the boss room there, okay. So I probably want to go the other way through the spinner. Oh, there's also a torch near the beginning of the dungeon that I want to probably hit. But while I have the spinner set up, let's go this way. Got a ring. All right, let's let's go back to the beginning of the dungeon. that way. Oh yeah, so that was the key that we needed in order to go up. Okay. So we want to go right from here. Bad. And that's our boss key. All right. I feel like this one's going to be pretty short. coming up to the boss. I don't know if there's more after completing the dungeon. Yeah, I would like to see a dungeon maker type game. That would be really cool. Like, just like a Mario Maker for Zelda dungeons. Alright, what boss do we have? Shadow Hag. Okay. Nice easy boss. Though, I guess if you don't know the tech for dropping Ember Seeds on it, it could be pretty difficult.
could probably use like some kind of hint about dropping the ember seeds for like total newcomers. But yeah, we uh, completed the dungeon. Oh, we got we got some text here. End of demo. Or is it? There may be a bit left to explore. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's see let's see what else we got. 20 rupees. We did get a ring inside the dungeon. Let's see what ring it was. It's the power ring. Oh. Okay. I'm actually gonna equip that. Even though, like, we already beat the dungeon, equipping the power ring could be very useful. But yeah, there's something over here. Oh, we got the broken down home. Alright, let's see if this, there's probably something under one of these trees. Yep. over there. This leads to a treasure chest with 200 rupees. That's probably the only secret, right? But I want to go see what the the pirate has to say. Because we did not actually go to that room yet. So he's probably in this house. That chest is yours if you can reach it. I have no use for it anymore. Okay. That was a cute little hack. I liked the thing with the, the floor masters and getting spawned in a different spot rather than the, the entrance to the dungeon. Probably... I mean, it's probably more for like a veteran player who understands the mechanics, so maybe the only the only thing is probably having some extra dialogue somewhere, some hints or something, to let, to clue people into um, that the floor masters are not going to send you back to the beginning of the dungeon, or uh, how to fight the, the boss, because dropping ember seeds ahead of you and then walking out of the way is not super intuitive, I don't think. But otherwise, it was a pretty cool little hack. I enjoyed it. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you all next time.